going to talk about enrichment and enrichment for our horses is really important for a whole variety of reasons. Um, most importantly here at the Mare and Foal Sanctuary we have a real responsibility and a real duty of care to ensure that we're providing the best physical, mental stimulation for our horses and providing them with the most natural environment that we possibly can. You can provide enrichment in lots of different ways in many different situations. It can be useful um, particularly if you've got ponies that may be on box rest or are restricted um, for any particular reason but also it's thinking about it on a bigger scale too of even just considering the environment that they live in, the fields and things, um, the, the hedgerows that surround the fields, maybe having access to different types of shelter um, and different species of uh, grasses and herbs in the grass. So encouraging all those natural behaviours. So enrichment literally encompasses the whole horse's environment. Um, and here at the Mare and Foal Sanctuary, we absolutely strive to do our best to ensure that we're providing all these things to our horses as much as we possibly can. They are social animals, so we try to make sure that they've always got a companion with them. So if they are, are restricted to box rest for health reasons, then of course we always make sure there's a companion nearby to them and they're never kept on their own. We have to think about enrichment here at the Mare and Foal Sanctuary a lot when horses first come into us. Obviously we have a number of horses that come to us because they've had uh, very traumatic backgrounds or they may have um, a history of uh, resources being restricted for example and they all have to spend time in our quarantine area when they first come through to us to monitor them for any signs of disease before they're introduced to the rest of our herds. Um, so we do everything that we can to make that environment more interesting for them and more stimulating by providing lots of different types of enrichment for them. In a natural environment, horses would typically walk up to about 30 kilometres a day in a 24 hour period. So if you think about that um, and then consider them being in a stable, their behaviour is really, really restricted. Horses are also designed to eat for approximately 16 to 18 hours in every 24 hour period. So this is, can be a particular problem for horses who are stabled, whose um, owners may perhaps go down in the evening and give them a hay net. And that hay net may only last them for an hour or two hours. So let's say they finish that hay net at eight o'clock in the evening and their owner doesn't go back to the yard until eight o'clock the following morning. They've potentially spent about 12 hours without really anything to do and without really anything to eat. Um, and that is a problem mentally for them. So it's really stressful because they should naturally be eating and grazing throughout that time. Um, but it's also not good for them physically. Horses' stomachs continually produce um, acid and when they haven't got forage in that stomach to break down, then the acid starts to break down the um, stomach lining. That can obviously cause them quite a lot of pain and discomfort. So there's lots of things that we can in do to improve the situation for the horses. Um, we can provide enrichment in lots of different ways. And this is one example of that here. Um, this is a treat branch and all you need to do is get lots of different foodstuffs that your horse enjoys um, and just basically poke them on up to all the little parts of the branches. So it's really important that you use a tree branch that is safe for horses so make sure you do your research on that first. This particular one is an apple tree um, and use different foodstuffs that you know that your horse may like and also make sure that they're safe for horses as well. If you've got a horse who's got particular issues, so laminitis for example, then obviously you might want to be careful in the treats that you choose and make sure they're really low in sugar. So things like um, celery or iceberg lettuce can be handy ones to use for, for your laminitics. Okay, so we're going to um, actually put together a treat branch for one of our ponies now. So I've got a selection of different foods in here. I've got some apple, I've got some carrots. If you're using carrots, they really easily fall apart if you don't make a pre-made hole in them already. So I would suggest making little holes in the centre of them so they don't just disintegrate when you poke them on. Um, and literally just poke them onto all the little bits that are sticking out on your branches. So we've got some grapes in here as well. Um, and it's really worth just playing around with different foods that you might not have given to your horse before. Again, obviously making sure that they are safe and not poisonous for horses. Um, but it's, it helps to mentally stimulate them by providing those different smells and different flavours. Even if they don't eat them, um, it's something that's just a little bit different for their environment whilst they're stuck in that, um, in that restricted setting. So I've got some little bits of celery in here as well, which are sometimes a bit more tricky to get to stay on. Um, and you can also as well use different types of jam and put some smear some jam or some apple sauce along, um, along the branches as well. And that can encourage them to sort of lick and investigate 
um, that smell and that flavour as well. And again, just making sure that obviously if your pony or horse does have any health issues um, and they're not allowed certain foods, then obviously take that into account. Make sure you only provide things that are safe for them. And if in doubt, just check with your vet that what you're going to use is okay. Um, I've got some blueberries in here as well. Put on the little ones. And I've got some raisins in here as well. They quite like the sugariness in raisins. And again, with doing any of these, just make sure that you just do it in moderation. So you're not giving them loads and loads of these foods uh, all the time. But this is a nice activity that will keep them entertained for a little while while they're in their stable. And this kind of activity just really helps them to use their lips. So they're really well designed horses to, um, to use their lips to really find individual species of grasses and things. So um, these kind of activities encourage that natural movement of the oral area as well. If you've got young children, this is a great activity to keep them busy at the yard. Just take some things down with you and whilst you're doing all the jobs that you need to do, you can have your, your children making some lovely treats to give to their ponies afterwards as well and they'll really enjoy watching them eat all the treats afterwards as well. Okay, so I think we're probably, I think I've probably got most of the spiky bits probably about ready to go but like I say if you had some jam with you as well you could um, put some jam along that main trunk there and just encourage them to investigate that and nibble it off. So when we're looking at providing enrichment for our horses there's loads of different things that we can do. Um, really your imagination is the limit in what you can do and it's just a case of thinking about what are their natural behaviours and how can we encourage a little bit more of those and how can we make um, their, their world that's potentially quite restricted at that point in time more interesting for them. So this is a really simple activity that everyone can do. Most people have probably got some egg boxes laying around at home. Um, let's just make a little... Um, egg box treat box so we've got a few different things for them to investigate so you can use different herbs and spices that you might have at home we've got a little bit of ground turmeric here so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that into the bottom of some of these egg holders um, and you can use all different ones so we've got ground turmeric um, and basil but you can try all with any of the different flavors obviously not chili or anything too spicy um, but any of your mints and herbs um, just helps to give them something a bit of olfactory investigation so something to sniff at and and really take in and find something out about their world and um, we've got a little bit of garlic as well put that in the other one and these might be things that your horse has had before and that you know that they like or, or it might be something that they've they've never experienced before so it's just interesting for them to um to have a little look at and investigate put some of those in we've got some uh, fiber nuggets in here as well so we can just lay some of those in and because of the shape of the egg boxes it really helps them to um, use their lips to to investigate and have a really good explore of, of what they can find in there and they really have to use that lip to sort of pull the nuggets out so it just provides a little bit of entertainment for them for a little while. Um, with any enrichment activities that you give to your horse it's always really important just to make sure um, that they don't get too frustrated by it so whenever you first do an activity make sure that you stand there with them uh, and just watch what their behaviour is like if they're getting too frustrated then obviously just take it away we want to improve their life not make it more stressful for them. And if you've got an activity like this that they are finding quite hard, then you can just make it a little bit easier for them and help them with it. So, for example, with the egg boxes, you might just um, either squash or cut down the little spiky bits in the middle. So it's easier for them to access things at first. And then over time, you can gradually let, leave them a little bit longer and they'll learn how to use their lips a little bit more appropriately. I've got a few other little bit of leftover um, fruit and veg here. So I've got little bits of carrot, uh, some celery and a few raisins as well. So some of these are things that the ponies that we're going to give them to haven't probably had before. Um, so again, it just variety is the spice of life. So it just gives them something a little bit more interesting to, to keep them occupied for a few minutes. And when you're using egg boxes, this is one of the activities that um, would be a supervised activity. So just make sure that you're around on the yard whilst, whilst they have it so you can take the, the egg box away afterwards. Um, and again, depending on how good your horse is at, um, at 
doing the activities um, you can either completely close the egg box so it's shut and they have to work out how to use either their lips or their feet to open it um, or you might just give, either give it to them open or just rest it shut and not shut, shut it completely so they can open it a little bit more easily with their nose. So we've got a good selection of, of things in each of those now and we're ready to go and give them to one of the ponies. So this is a stable that we've just set up with various different types of enrichment um, and you don't have to do all of these at one time but obviously the, the more items you put in the more uh, the longer that your horse will be entertained for. Um, so for example if you look around we've got various different forage types in here so we've got a small net of hay um, we've got some fresh grass as well which I've sprinkled in different places around the floor we've got some in a bucket as well. Um, and we've also got some poked through um, where the window is as well, just to encourage that stretching into different places. Um, when using grass, obviously never use grass cuttings from a lawnmower. The, this has all been hand-picked. So, um, yeah, using grass cuttings can give them colic, so absolutely avoid that at all costs. But if it's been hand-picked, that's no problem at all. Um, so we've got different types of forage over in that net, just over that side. Um, we've got some uh, soaked hay. So if you've got a horse that you're worried about their weight, um, you can use a larger volume of hay if it's been soaked for a long time. Um, we've also got here some freshly picked sticky weed, uh, which has just been put into a net there, or you could uh, weave it through the bars of the stable if you've got that option, um, or even just sprinkle it around the floor, floor for them to go looking for. Um, we've got a, a higher hay net here and this has got some barley straw in it. I've just stuffed a little bit of grass in there as well to encourage some stretching up. Um, barley straw can be added to the diet again, particularly if you've got ponies that you're worried about their weight. Um, if you're introducing that for the first time, just do it very, very gradually so that they get used to that. But it just means that um, they probably won't eat that quickly like they will a hay net, but it means they've always got the option of some forage there if they need something to move through their gut. Um, so down here we've got one of our uh, treat branches, so that's got a variety of different items on it. And then uh, just along the floor you'll see that <coughs> there's some fibre nuggets that have just been sprinkled around. And you can do that with any of your food if you've got some clear area of floor. Um, and you can also do scatters if you're lucky enough to have a straw bed, which is really good for encouraging that natural foraging behaviour. Then again, don't be afraid to sprinkle some, um, some forage nuts or some uh, fruit and vegetables through there straw as that really encourages that natural foraging behaviour and helps to really keep them um, entertained and interested for much longer periods of time. Um, then we've got one of our little ready-made egg boxes here um, and we've got another one of our branches up here so it's really good to vary the height that you put things if you can so encourage that natural um, eating from the ground behavior as much as possible that's always preferable to nets if it's possible for you um, but also obviously in the natural environment horses would stretch to different heights they would reach up to leaves on trees and things as well so it's really good to encourage them to do that if they're um, restricted as well obviously helps movement of different muscles but the primary um, forage sources ideally if possible should be placed at floor level just to encourage that natural um, eating behaviour. By providing all of these things when our horses are in a restricted environment, even if it's, um, you know, they may be on box rest, they may be stabled for other reasons, or um, they may even be in a small paddock or perhaps a, an all-weather turnout area if you're um, restricted on grazing in the winter time. So by providing this enrichment um, in all those different locations can be really beneficial for them and really promotes well-being for them. Um, there's loads of different types of enrichment we can do as well. It doesn't all have to be food focused. Obviously, what we're talking about here is all food based, but there's lots of other things that you can do to enrich their environments as well. And remembering that we as people can be part of their enrichment too, um, interacting with them, giving them nice grooming sessions if that's something that they enjoy, um, nice massage sessions, and even just taking them for simple in-hand walks and, and browses along hedgerows and things like that can be really beneficial. But it really is, the, the imagine, your imagination is, is the limit on what you can do to provide enrichment for them. Obviously horses are social animals, so it's really important if your horse is um, in the stable for any reason, 
that you bring another horse alongside them or within, um, at least within visual access of them. Here at the Mare and Fall Sanctuary, our equine team are always here, ready and willing to offer um, any advice or support that you might need, whether it's to do with enrichment or any other aspect of caring for your horses or ponies. Um, so feel free to contact our teams through our website, our social media channels, uh, or also by telephone as well. Thank you.